I'm going to use this arcade which is a gaming platform and we can do gaming mail very fast and at first let let us create the window so this window is having some width and some height and title so let the width be 800 units and the height of this window as 400 and the title for this window that will be new window so we are going to have this window which is having the width as 800 units and the height is 400 units and the title of this window will be new window so this is the title for this window so we are going to do that first so at first let us create that window so let us have some class and I'm going to call this class as new window and let us have this arcade dot window so this is the class and this is the main class so in other words this will be a subclass of this class and let us have some constructor for this class so here we need to provide these three so let us have the same name and after that our intention is that we need to send all these values to this main class so I need to use this super and after that we need to have this init and again let us provide these three and what this function does is it is going to deliver all these values to this main class and after that we can set some background for this window we can set background color for this window so this arcade is having this color and I'm going to choose this Amazon and after that let us have this on draw make sure this name must be same and all the drawing operation is done inside this function so let us start this render so let us have this variable which is going to call this class and here let us provide these three values or variable values and after that let us run this arcade so we have this window so we have created that now we need to draw some shapes so at now let us make this as a comment and let us print this arcade dot draw commands so that module is present at this location and let us use this help So these are all the drawing functions. So we can draw these many functions. So you see here these are the functions and main thing here is all this function is not going to return anything from these functions. So let's have So let's start drawing from this shape and you see here we get some so this is the return symbol we don't have this return symbol anywhere in this type of functions so now let us draw some shapes so let us draw let us start from here and another thing I need to show is that you see here we have this syntax like this so this is the basic syntax how 
a sequence of this type of syntax you see here we have this bottom left x and we have this here and after that we have this bottom left y so you see here this is not present above this left x it is present below this left y so it is going in one flow top to bottom and this happens for all these functions you see here we have this x1 y1 and all this stuff and you see here we have that in a sequence type starting from above to bottom you can place all these things at the column side columns is going to have all this and you see here these are all the draw functions so you see here we have this draw triangle field and we have that here so make sure all of this will be present at the row and all of this will be present at the column so why are why we are doing this to make it easier to understand how this syntax works and we have all of this so try to place all of this in a column and this at the row and try to place yes you see here let us take some so let us have this draw triangle field so you see here we have this function and so let me make that so as i said this will be present at column so we are doing this because to make it much understandable so try to place here some shape and after that so this column is for type of shape and here place something syntax and over this direction and shape is over downward so you can place this symbol so this is for shape and this is for syntax so place all these things at this syntax like we have this x and y place that here so we have this x and after few lines let us have this y and after that you can place i'm going to place triple dot to make it to understand and you know this function is going to have this all things and let us have that right here and let's remove all of this so let's make this little more bigger and So this here and So make some lines like so make some more columns like this and so now let us have this shape so So this is the shape which is present at this row and you know this is having this bottom left x so you have to provide here like yes and we also have this 
bottom left y and we also have this width so place yes wherever this syntax is present like this and so we don't have this x and y so you can make it empty or you can place some value as no or none something like this and what this does is we can actually understand much better if you have this type of table or some type of this type of structure where we can understand like this shape is having these all things in the syntax and you can do that so now let's draw this shape so all the drawing operations are going to happen or you have to provide all the drawing operation inside this function so here we need to provide this x and y and after that you need to provide width and height so let us have so so let's assume we have this window and let us have some line like this so let's make so let's make this as this half portion of this window as red background or red color so you know this coordinate is we need to provide this x coordinate first so this will be screen width by 2 and this will be 0 so we have 0 height or so this is along this width or you see here we have so this is the x direction and we can also say it as width of width direction of this window which is along this x coordinate and this will be y coordinate so y coordinate or we can say it as some height direction height of this window direction and you know this height is zero at this point so i am talking about this point which is having this coordinate and for this co for this point we are going to have so for this function we don't need to talk about this coordinate we have to talk about this coordinate and its width and height so here we need to provide this x coordinate that will be screen width by 2 and the height is 0 and we need to provide the width you see here we have this w stands for this width and we can pr provide some float value or integer so this width is this width by 2 and the height will be screen so maximum height so I'm saying that so this is the width right width of this area which is covered by this red color so this is width by 2 and the height is maximum so let us write some letters so this is height maximum height and this will be width by 2 so we have provided that and we need to provide some color so let us have color as red and let us check this window so screen width yeah so let's check so we have this red area red portion so this is how you can understand this type of syntax and you can also see here uh, this is saying that we have to provide this x coordinate of left edge of this rectangle so this is the left edge and 
let us talk about this outline so instead of field we have to place this outline and this outline is nothing but some perimeter or some border for this shape and so because of that we have this default value like 1 for this width if you are not providing let us check that width so you see here we have this width so you can see here we have this red line so let's increase this width to some extent like let us provide this width as 10 so you see here we have this width 10 so this is for this shape and this is for to get some screenshot from this window so I have talked about this and let us also talk now so I'm when I'm going to click on this screen so I'm going to use this on mouse press so this is going to deliver this X and Y coordinate and button and some modifier so let's print this X and Y so let me click at this point so you see how I got this value near to 400 and this Y coordinate near to 0 so this is the coordinate for this point and coming to this point so we got the maximum height that is 400 and you see how this so this is actually X coordinate first one is X coordinate and this is Y coordinate which is having which is approximately equal to 400 maximum height so we got that and we need to take some type of screenshot so to understand that better you see here we have some return value from this function that is pill dot image so let us understand about this pill or pillow module so let's import this pill otherwise let us only import so from pill I am going to import this image and after that let us have some variable so we have this image right so let us have some image so image dot some open I think so let us have this dot again so let us use let us have this color dot jpg jpg and let us save this variable as something like sum dot jpg otherwise let us have so you see uh, we don't get any type of error and we have this image so we can save that image so in the same way right here this is going to return this value and we need to save that to some name and some type so I think this function is going to have this pillow module so when I'm going to press on this window this is going to return this pillow so let us have some variable so this arcade is having this open so this is get image and here we need to provide this x and y location so let us also check so let us make this as a comment and let us print this arcid module 
So let us check for get image. So yeah, we have this here. This is get image. So Arcad is having this get image. So I have used this one. So Arcad is having this get image, and this is going to deliver some value. So some image we are going to get that, and so here we need to provide this x and y coordinates. So let us provide this x and y coordinate and this width and height is we can also set the width of this screenshot if suppose I am going to take scre screenshot right here you know this image is having some width and some height so we need to do we need to provide that value right here so at first we need to provide the width so let this be 200 and the height is 100 units and after that we can save this variable as some screen shot dot png and let's check this so we have already this one so let us check this and I'm going to click right at this portion and I got this screenshot and let me click again right here and you see here this is updating its value and let me click right here again you see here we have this border so we can see this red margin and red, red color this line so what this saying is so if suppose we have this image and for this image or oh, we have this so this coordinate is fixed so if you want to take so according to these two lines wherever you are going to click this point is available right at that place so we need to shift this point so if suppose I am going to click right here so when I am going to click right at this position you know this point must be go is going to stay right here so initially according to these two lines this and this coordinate are staying at the same point so when I'm going to click at some position like somewhere here I need to shift this fixed coordinate to set an amount like it has to decrease this half of this width and it has to decrease its half of its height so I have to do that so this will be minus of so I need to divide this by 2 so this will be 100 and this y coordinate will be 50 units and so let's check so let me click right here again so you see here I got this image and you see here I have clicked here so this is present at the center of this screenshot so that is why I have made this minus and you know this value is half of this width and this is half of this height so that 
you know initially before this coordinate is right here and when I'm going to do subtraction of this width by 2 and this height by 2 this is going to come at this place so this is how you can save these images from this type of function you can call this function and this is going to return some value and you can save that by the help of these statements so this is all about this get method get image and now let's talk about this get pixel so this is also going to return so this is the return symbol so this function is also going to return some tuples and we it is going to provide some this RGB color value of that point so where you are going to click or release or you are doing some motion we are going to get that color value in form of this RGB so let us make this as a comment again so let us have some variable which is equal to something like this and let us print this variable so we have that and if suppose we have this variable 1 and variable 2 and variable 3 and let us print this variable 1 so you see here uh, this value is coming at this place and same for this 2 and 3 which is going to store at these respective variables so this is how we can get you see here uh, this is also going to return this tuple and so let us have so we already know that we got this we have set some red background color let us also have this green right let us start from zero and it is going to stop at so width and it is having this height and let us also have blue background and this is also going to start from this starting coordinate and this height is going to be height by 2 and so let us check so we got this so instead of outline let us have this field and let's check so this field is not going to take any width so let us remove this width so we got this and let this be maximum width so we got this R G and B so red for green and G and B so so let us use now this pixel so we need to provide this X and Y location so let us have some variable which is going to store return value and this arcade is having this this get pixel and here we need to provide this x and y and after that let us print this return value so you know this is green and let me click here so this is r 
stands for red and this is green so green is maximum so we have this 255 and the so rg and so this is blue so blue is zero so let's click at this blue so we have this maximum value for blue and green and zero you know it is zero so let's click right at this red so red is maximum and both of these are zeros so what we can say is so instead of all of this so let us have this again so you can see here we are using this function and here we can also provide some color in form of tuples and so because of that let us have this so as I said this is red so this red is having so at first we need to provide this 255 for red and 0 and 0 so this is for red and for green so for green this will be 0 this will be 255 so this is for green and for blue this will be staying here and this 0 is coming at this place so we got this same background so green red and blue and another thing we can notice here we also have this tuple we can provide some additional value that is for and also we can see that so let us provide some additional value so this will be some type of transparency and let this be 255 by 2 so you can see here the, we have some transparent color for this blue image if you make this as 0 we don't have that blue color and you suppose I'm going to press right here so we get this green image and same thing for this red we have this 255 and if suppose I have this one, if suppose I am providing this one, so there might be some transparent, so there might be some value for blue. So when I'm going to click, you see uh, this green is reduced to one and this blue is increased to one. And same thing for this red which is going to reduce by one uh, but this blue value is going to increase so let us change this to something like 10 and let us check this again so let me click here so you see uh, we have this 10 and this is reduced by 10 and same thing for this red so this is for green and this is for red so so this is for this transparent I think by default it is having this by default it is having something like 255 so let's check so we got this blue so instead of having this you can remove we are going to get the same result for this and you can also check that in this color and you see here we have this RG and B and if you want green you have to set this to this to 0 and this as 255 and this again to 0 so if you do that you see here we are going to get this green so this green is present between this red and this blue so let us check for instead of green let us have this red as 255 you see here uh, this red is present between this blue and green and let us check for this blue 
and this so we got this blue image and if suppose you are making this red as 255 you let us have this red and green so red and green and let us make this as zero so you can see here this red and this green are having maximum value so you see here we got this yellow color in other words we can say that you know this yellow color is present between this green and blue when you are making this green and blue maximum value we are going to get this middle value and let us make this green and blue greater so let us place 255 here and let us make this as zero so you can see here we have this middle portion of this green and blue so when you are making more value for this green and blue we are going to get this middle portion and this middle portion is available between this green and blue and let us check for this blue and red whether we are going to get this pink or not so blue and red so you see here we got this pink color so this is how you can adjust this color so this is for this get pixel and so this is only going to return three values not the transparent value so it is going to return only this r g and b green red green and blue so and another thing you can think about this is let us have this again so you know this number is starting from 0 and stopping at this 255 and if suppose this number is starting from 1 this will this might be stopping at 256 and at some portion this 256 is nothing but something 2 to the power 8 something 2 to the power 8 is 256 something like that and so this happens because we are getting some binary to some hexagonal type of thing so this also depends this color also depends on some depends on some hexagonal type of decimal so so this is for all this type of drawing function we can draw and we can actually take some images and we can also check what is the color for this background or the base so sometimes this is important because for creating some type of gate some type of game the character want to move across some color so we can do that by the help of this function and i think that's it for this video and see you again bye bye